it went real well. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a, it was a good episode, man. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Interview went great. Um, yeah, it, it was a great interview. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I look forward to seeing that uh, finish. He wants to uh, uh, talk to Jessica, interview Jessica about Modessa. It was cool. He came out as Xenu to start. <laughs> I loved his entrance. His entrance was great, man. <laughs> He saw me by Kate. Uh, I got. I, I got my. Uh, got my fuzzy hat on and my cape. Bum, bum, bum. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poon. He loves me and he loves you. Is there anyone at La Poubelle? Zach? Ooh, I'm not supposed to talk about other streamers, am I? Breaking my own rules. What an asshole. What an asshole. Zach, Aja, Layla, ooh, Jacob. Layla was there, but not sure if she's still there. Layla, Aja, Jacob, and Eric. Oh, Eric's there too? Yep. I'm on my way, bitches. Dad, bitches, show me what you got. Check that ass, bitches. Don't speed past me, jerk. Ooh, just get you open. Get you, get you some. It's a partyology. Coming four minutes. <laughs> There's a buzz in the crowd. <laughs> and everyone starts hearing that DOA is coming. <laughs> Good. So you're telling me I'm having an effect. Tell me there's a chance. Like a roller coaster ride through here. You are, you love it. And apparently the employee tore down signs and a British guy was arguing with Aja. That British guy? Slightly effective? Okay, that's all right. <sighs> What's up with all the Brits? They better not be red coats. That's all I know. If you're a red, red coat, yeah. I ain't having it. That's what that guy. Sorry about your English sensibilities. Get out of here. He's a red coat. We talked about DMT in, our, in the interview. We talked about maritime law and admiralty law. We talked a little sovereign citizen stuff. 
You left, Eric? Jacob talked him down. She, she, she be Weebies, a rad motherfucker. Stevie Weeby. Stevie Weeby. Not all Scientology, no. We talked a little about traveling. It was good. It was a good interview. I liked it. Yesterday's interview was real good, too. Different style. Like, I love that. Like, just all new audiences. Like, that's effective. It's effective. And, you know, they uh, they had they had Streets on there. Then they had Law Rub. Then they had me. And he wants to interview more streamers. So that's, like, super, like, that's good. Just get another community involved. That's the kind of interview you want to do with me? Are you Lane, are you the one I'm doing the interview on Tuesday? Is that you? No, no. New characters unlocked? Jessica should get interviewed by Stevie Weeby. That's, he said, he said, he, he asked who I thought he should interview, and I suggested Jessica. I thought Jessica would be a prime fit. Fuck out, bro. Figure it the fuck out. Is the hero Chris voice? What the are these weirdos doing? You look suspect. I'm in a mood now. I saw you, bro. Slow your tits. Thank you. 
I, I, I really appreciate, I didn't want, I hate seeing food go to waste. No, good. Good. I burn, a, I burn a patty here and there. Yeah, yeah. Good. There he is. Hey. hey, hey. Oh, this thing, this thing, this little, this light thing. Oh, that is awesome. You can change it. Just like, like the backpack that Chris has. That's yeah. awesome. Do one of your friends get this for you? Yes. Oh, I love the chat. Nice. I, I don't like calling on my fans. Oh, okay. Because they're like everyone's fans. Or, you know, like, I like yeah. talking about chat in a very general term. I get that. Not to leave anybody out. You know? Good call. That was a new one. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, let's see. That's right. I like that one. He came on smile. So it must have been a good interview. Yeah, it was a real nice interview. Good. Everything's been pretty quiet here. Uh, one, one argument in a restaurant employee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the usual, the usual stuff during the boycott. Yep. Boycott. 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 I love that. I mean, I love these LEDs, man. I want them all over my van. Yes. Yes, yes. What's going on, man? Oh, look at this. I love this. Came out today. Okay. So that was about a week ago. Sounds about right. I think okay. maybe a okay. week and a half ago. Nice. We'll be on the lookout for it. Yeah, it, it should be an interest. It'll be an interesting. Yeah. It's all about like I, I 
Last time I did this, I, I didn't do it for a lot of time. And I regret that you did not do it for a lot of all the audience being a different audience. And then they're so, it's, it's all about getting your name out. It's all about your name. Your name is everything. Yeah. That's correct. Your name is everything. Like pushing in, writing, writing, writing off of others' names, collabing with, you know, writing, or yeah, yeah, yeah. collabing, however, however you want to phrase it. La Poubelle supports rapists. La Poubelle supports serial rapists. La Poubelle supports serial rapists. La Poubelle supports serial rapists. Substack Zach? I know. The I Substack can... Zach. Luck, we now know Lock the Bell is on my Substack. Uh, I, I, I hope they heard all those fake 911 reports. Nine of them have um, trading files on squatting bells. And it's really a perspective for investigation. I talked to Kevin Kleinstein about this. Um, we can start to play the bigger picture of this time. Because we have so many people involved. So, I would like to have a Oh, that was all Aja. It's so good out there today. Thank you for providing the opportunity to get back. I didn't do it. Like, it was all chat. What's up? Sorry, I'm posters back. Oh, no, they're, <laughs> they're yours. All up here. No, they're yours. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. They're yours. Yeah, they're yours. You're giving it to me? Yeah, they're yours. And they're disposable. So if they get ruined, they get ruined. Dude, the girl, some blonde girl, yeah, younger. Girl try taking them down. Yeah, yeah. I, I had them right, right, right. I had them and she went, shh, shh, yeah. shh. Well, and, and I was like, they're, hey, they're, the tape were stacked on They're meant other. to be taken down and, and ruined. Amanda keeps making more and more. Okay. So it's, it's. They're gonna okay. get ruined. It's part okay. of the. It's part of the. I treat these like my babies. Yeah, yeah, no, like they people will rip them and, and fuck them I up, know. and and we're just we got enough to make a whole shit ton more, so it doesn't affect us. It's like oh, rip okay. it up, I'll put another one right back up right on top of it. Yeah, like, that's true. That's the mentality. Yeah. So yeah, they're totally disposable. All yeah. the flyers all get torn down every night, <laughs> and I, I start over and do it again. <laughs> Yeah, that's they always they always get the best ones. She's and she's getting she's getting awesome. These these signs are great. They pop out. Yeah. I got the I got the light. I got I got the La Poubelle. Uh, I got some um, bungees to put that flyer up. Okay. Can I talk to you today about these later? Um, yeah. Later. Yeah. Later. Yeah. YouTube. I don't know. Yeah, you help. need to have that. Will you help me later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. You have a you have a computer? I don't have a computer. Yes, I do. I do have a. a, 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 a it's a, 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 a notebook. I mean, yeah. I oh, okay. I guess. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 iPad or iPad. I touch or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. 
Same story. In Do you have you have any of those accounts yet? No. All right. I, mean, I do have TikTok accounts. Yeah, but how do you get money from people? What? For paper. I mean, uh, you don't got a cash app or anything. I do have cash app and I do have Venmo and I do have I do have. Oh, you have them already. TikTok. I don't know how to do it on. Okay, you have the accounts already, though. Yeah. Yes. But you just need them on the. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We get in your description. All right. Oh, description. In the description. In the description. In the description of your YouTube channel. Okay. So, like, when someone goes to your channel, there's a, a text or like a paragraph that says, "Hey, my channel is about helping ah, uh, protesting yeah, Scientology." Yeah, I, I see that all the time. And so that's where you get the links. Yeah. See, your mod, your mod could post it. She could go to TikTok, grab it, and post it on the channel in the comments. Really? Yeah. You got mods? Yeah. I hate mods, but this is what they're good for. She could, she could co go to TikTok, copy, and then paste it into the comments, and people will be able to click on it. Oh, okay. I'm looking for a lady. Right. Yeah. I don't care about no, I don't care about no mod wars. See, the whole, like they said mod. But look at the comment. Alyssa's in the thing. I didn't read that. Yeah. Alyssa owes her all the time. See, that's why I don't have mod wars. Let's not, let's break that side. Get on line. Don't make me come and yell at her chat. <laughs> Sorry about that. Keep it Say it one more time for the people in the back. That cost so much. Okay? It's not about everybody else. Worry about it. You don't like somebody blocking. Yeah, I usually really love a ranch. Every time you see the hate, you build that person up. Whether it's hate or not. So that's what we're getting over a ride. Don't say the name. You're fine. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. This is a valid point. Oh, he's Cam. You're amazing. He was out here with us last night. You are. You are right about that. He was out here last night. You ate comedy. Yeah, it is. It's a. All right. Okay. I'm. I'm banning the word Alyssa. Okay. No one is allowed. I'm giving you guys a one minute to get it all out. You got one minute. It's 1042. We're banning the word Alyssa. Okay. If you if you have a screen name Alyssa. All right. Well, those were not doing that type of shit in my thing. So you're just being hid from the channel. Okay. Are you guys been fucking out. I, I, I leave you guys alone for a fuck a couple minutes. I'm trying to help someone to fuck out, and you guys. Can't fucking keep it together. Over oh fucking God, here. I'm like, I'm over here to call and I'm, I know I know where I'm going. <laughs> now I okay, know 1043. Where I'm going. We're waiting one more minute. Get it all out. La Rata. What's happening with mod wars? For sure, mod wars you talk about. Can't talk about mod wars, man. All right. So, 10.44, when I see 10.44, hold on, we got a super chat. The entire community can't stand Alyssa, she needs to leave. All right, I'll spell her name backwards and spell it as Leah. Drama mom with 24 hours, time out. No M words, everyone, be kind, how old are you? Yeah, you guys are weird. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I never always weird. know. I feel like with Leah, every Still time I say hi to her, and there's always like a... All right, we're 1044. I'm going to give you a little grace period. Oh, look who's here. Jeff is here. I'll see you next time. Jeff August. Oh, Jeffrey is here. See you, DOA. Later. Later. All right, all right. 1044. All right. All right. We're about, we're about to start with some timeouts here. All right, there's a timeout. We'll start. We'll start slow. We'll do a five minute on you. We'll ease into these rules. The, the king has spoken. Okay. okay. 
Jane Spino, right? He's from the team. I think she's from the guy. Oh, really? I think so. I think it's all right. Second on the right hand side. Yeah, it is. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You're out of here, right? Hamburger guys. Huh? Cheeseburger guys here. Where is cheeseburger guys? Right there. Man, DOA. Hey. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. I would stay in chat, but the guy who made a false claim against me is in that tent. Do you tent. think we should leave realize. too? Or no, just, I just... You just want to be yeah, safe? Yeah, I just okay. want to be safe. Better safe than sorry. What's his description? Is it white male? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like shaggy age hair, 35. like fever hair. Yeah. the false claim? Yeah, he, he filed a false claim like two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, on me. Yeah. And so, I don't want to be... We'll keep an eye, we'll keep an eye on the firm. Always be safe. Yeah, later. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, a little bit of time. Yeah, I, I totally say I just don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. All right, you guys be safe. Twenty-four hour. Twenty-four hour. What did I say to you? Chat, not in the business, man. The chat, the chat's a nasty fucking beast. It could be a nasty, nasty fucking beach, beast. Uncontrollable. Uncontrollable. Do your best to steer it. Uh, I can't go. To, I really don't want to go to the beach because I need to get my car fixed. I need to get the trans cooler lines done, and. Uh, get my uh, gearbox changed out and then I'll drive out that way uh, tomorrow looks like it might be the day that I yeah I'm, I'm ready to go I, I got everything I need it's just a matter of doing it now I'm not sure if I'll pick up Josiah yeah maybe I'll get a hold of him tomorrow gotta figure out when uh, not talking to you. Not talking to you. Restraining order. What the fuck are they talking about? Uh, 
Um, blue body dee 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 da 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 I, I, I mentioned Tori in the interview and Solomon. In the poop? No, no, there's no restraint or order or nothing. The guy was just making up lies, trying to get make up lies on everybody, and the police actually took a report. So I'm not even gonna risk it and it doesn't even matter. Yeah, there's no restraining orders at all. Ugh. Cheeseburger guys are going to follow we in LA, yes. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's, uh, yeah, no, this, I'm, 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 my biggest strategy is not to go into a fucking cage. <laughs> I'm gonna be a happy motherfucker to slide my ass into the back of this van in my tight ass little space and fucking fall asleep to a YouTube video playing in my face. That is my plan for tonight. <laughs> it is not sitting in jail. <laughs> so I will make all moves based on that knowledge. <laughs> There's enough people there. Yeah, I don't want to be not free. Yeah, I just, it's not worth it. It's just, there's no, there's no added value to me being there. I can do what I need to do. I'll go and hang out at the blue building. Yeah, I, I just don't want to go there. I'll go to jail for some other shit. Yeah. I just not now, not tonight. I like being in the bigger cage too. Yeah, I agree, uh, Jared. That is the move. That is the move. It's not. It's not a PPA. It'd be a. TRO and a RO temporary restraining order restraining order yeah I'll go and hang out at the blue building for a little bit so if I just end the stream now cheeseburger wins if I go and hang out at blue building we win um, really supported the SPTV community on the podcast tonight uh, and, and the SPTV Foundation. We talked about La Poubelle. And uh, yeah, I, I thought it was a good interview. I got to plug uh, Jay's stuff. Operation Jaybird.
I need heads. I need heads of everybody, of all the streamers. Just like screenshot stickers of their heads so I can put them on the van. <laughs> Someone needs to make some type of series of something, whether they're cards or like something. Even if they're just virtual meme cards. I tried to, uh, did I plug her? I, um, I gave him one of the pins. I, I have not remembered the name completely, to be honest. I'm still learning the name. But I love those stickers so much. They're so awesome. You can make them. Yeah, just some heads. Like just some heads or like a card. Like the dudes uh, from what I was involved with, they made they made cards, unsung heroes, and then the game dev did, and then they made uh, garbage patch characters. But you could do like baseball card. You could do all sorts of different things, trading cards. But it like if someone could do that, just the characters, right? The characters in the story. Like you have a character list, but I'd love to have like a, a visual character list. But I, I'd put everyone's head on here. <laughs> you make little stick figures, having them say something or something too. <laughs> really have fun with it. Damn near filled up for like a hundred and like a hundred and thirty dollars. Trading cards, actual photos, yeah. Photos or even like you could take those photos and put them in an AI and make them into cartoons. Or even on some video editors, you could swipe the, you could remove the background and then do an AI. You could make it into a Pixar, like a Pixar, Pixar. Um, uh, uh, filter and like you know cartoon them I don't know these are some ideas but it, it'd be cool to have stickers you know uh, something for all the different st streamers for Denver Scientology J Denver Scientology audits Trashy out in Chicago. Pearl Snappy in Austin. Life-size cardboard cutouts. That might be asking a lot. What we need to do is a Save the Children convoy. We need to all be in our cars and drive in circles around the Church of Scientology. We'll slow row it. I learned this at the convoy. Tori's cartoon character would be awesome. Purple hair. Be like a little like a little a little pony. You will email me about the stickers? Okay. Low riders, uh, we could do that. You, you know who you are, Chichakina. No, that wasn't you. That was um, no, that was not Chichakina. That was um, uh, was that you I'm talking about single de Mayo? or was that uh? Gosh, my mind is blank drawing a blank right now. Damn. 
No, but it was Montes. Montes. Yes. Yes, Montes. Melissa. I, I, I'm having trouble keeping track of the stories and who I'm talking to so many people that some of the stories are like blending together. Turtle boy? Ooh, hell yeah. How many fucking mattresses you got in this bitch, man? Oh, this is, uh... Sorry. Yeah, email is the best way to come. Well, all my posters are down. They make quick work of that. <sighs> yeah, the best thing to do is just to say what you want right here. I can communicate with you. I don't have to touch anything. Like, this is the best way to communicate. Through chat. Questions. Unless you want it private. That, that guy was a Scientologist with the with the uh, cooler. Yeah, I know. Email about the stickers. Yeah, just make them. You you don't even have to email me. <laughs> I'm down. Just do it. Use your creative mind. <laughs> No, no, no. We're not. We're not worried about Mindy, General Powell. Come on, you should know this stuff, man. Come on. That's a five minute. We're not worried about wherever where other streamers are. Streamers that are here, we could, you know. Take a five minute break there. Well, I think that there's a lot. I have a lot of trolls from a lot of different. Um, I'm an equal opportunist in terms of my trolls. They kind of come from a couple different areas. And so, yeah, it's okay. I like the trolls. I've been streaming for a couple of years now. I'm known back in the, the interwebs. I've talked shit to a bunch of different people. <laughs> the 20th, I'm going to do a political event. And so I think I'm going to stream on the Lord DOA, the political event. Yeah, or like if you want to like praise them, right? Those rules are there just to like keep out of the drama the best I can. The political, or the canceled, I don't know. Political event on what subject? Um, 
the subject of J6. But I'm going to protest. I like to protest the bad actors within groups. And just focus specifically on the bad actor. Do I have a girlfriend? I'm not sure. Do I? Root him out. What's up? I left La Poo Bell because of Hamburger Guy. Let's get this so cold. Get this up and going. No woman, no crime. We get a couple more of these things. These things are fucking badass. Imagine all of us having these like four foot ones. All this is a battery pack, literally on all of our cars when we're here. It's so vibrant. Someone said someone sending me magnet, uh, magnets to hold those on. So imagine every car having that. It looks dope. This LED shit, man. This is some next level sh protesting. It really is. Because you just put a bat, you hook these up to a battery pack. These little batteries. It's, it's like little. That thing's dope looking. It's a LED sign on Amazon, it is. And that's like maybe two feet, but if we get like three foot or four foot ones, which are gonna be a little more expensive, obviously, but yeah, you could you could see this outside there too. I I really like this uh this center pull out on both sides. It's it's catchy, cause I I could do other ones. That's laser. I'm gonna put a sign on the roof. You guys just wait, man. I'm telling you, everything I do, my artistic talent is just stacking, like adding and adding and adding and adding and copying, and so. I'm slowly building this van into like the ultimate fucking thing. But I want to have LEDs on the, like I'm going to raise that roof so I could stand up. And on the sides, I want LED lights. I want a real nice grid on both sides. Because, I mean, my van already makes noise, but these LEDs make a whole lot of lo roof. Roof, roof, that's my speech impediment. Roof is a tough one. It's roof and bear, bear, bear and bears. The court date, I'm not sure when the court date is. Please send 1,000 LED signs. <laughs> I'm actually on the... This one's to my inverter right now. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. A6 GOP, marry me. That's the snow. It's 
Ghislaine. I'm getting Ghislaine better. It's getting there. This is a jizz. Tester. Yeah, so what right now with my I just need to get some batteries for the for the solar. I think I'm just gonna get three of the same exact two more car batteries. That are exactly the same car batteries as up here. So that I just have four of the same car battery that I could use to start the car. Jelaine and the Jill is like a fish gill. Jelaine. Yeah, but okay. So if the battery is in series and it's 24 volt and the inverter is a 12 volt wouldn't that fuck up the inverter if it's coming in 24 volts? Doesn't the batteries have to be in parallel? Not in series. Keeping it 12 volt. Two 12 volt batter two batteries at 12 volts, not 24 volt, because this is a 12 volt inverter. Jill Lane. Jill Lane. Jill Lane. Jill Lane. The S is silent. Jizz. Jill Lane. The inverter takes it down to 12 from 24. Jizz lane. You won't get the power to run the inverter with it that way. You won't get the power to run the inverter with it that way if it's running parallel. If it's only coming in in 12 volts. It's got to come in 24 volt. Jill lane. Yes, 12 from 24. Said a long time ago that they would never pronounce her name correctly because everyone's trying to tell her how to say it. <laughs> well, gotta keep up with the lore. Gislaine. Fishgill. Gill. Jillane. Gill. Jillane. Jillane. Jillane Maxwell. Yeah, that interview was good. <laughs> uh, the piano coming in is great. <laughs> he was seeing you. A hard, a hard G sound. What the fuck is a hard G sound? Yo, what up, bitches? Got me on that one, Stevie Weenie. I like Jislaine. Jill, Jill Lane. J, J, a hard G. Now say Grant Cadone is a punk. <laughs> Where can I bullhorn Grant Cadone? Cadone, Cardone. Where can I? Where can I bullhorn him? When is there a bullhorning opportunity? Where does he live? I'm not like his house, but like what what city does he uh, reside in? Well, he used to live here because that's who Laura worked for. Lara. 
Do you want me to tell you how you really, you were in two wires to the ground and the power from the alternator to the battery in the back, then run the battery to the inverter and you'll have it set up. All right, should I have a battery isolator in that? That's what I need is a battery isolator, correct? From between the battery up here and the battery in the back, because I don't want those two connected. Tell me how you really go. You were in two wires of ground. You really, you were in two wires of ground. See, that doesn't make sense. And the power from the, you run the two wires to the ground. Yeah. Power from the alternator to the battery in the back. And you'll have it set up. Good. Good. Good, Gary. Good, good, Gary. Gary. Good, good, Gary, Gary. Trat cook on G A is in Lady Gaga, Ga, Gaz Galzine Ga Gil Gil Gilzine 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 Gilzine. What is it, Jack? The Karate Kid wears calm. To get near Cardone. Cardone is Florida based, maybe green. Oh my God, G guy guy. Grant Cadone. Cordon. Cadone. Miami. Though he said I'm taking on stream. Might be taken, I might not. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Grant Cardone. Cardone. Yeah, y'all need to look up phonetics. For real, I was guessing. Sounds cool. Who does C bomb is a hard G? Yeah, I'm not getting this. You can get a charger to go from your van battery to the new battery. It'll charge it, but the van can't take power from it. You can get the charger to go from your van battery to the new battery. You need the isolator though. Jill Lane. Jill Lane. Yep, now. G Lane. Gill Lane. Gill Lane. Shit. Why does you have to have such a difficult name? <sighs> it's a stupid name, Jelaine, no matter how it's pronounced. Grant Cadone versus Jislaine Maxwell. I ship you in law. Oh, God, you're in chat. You taught me how to say it. I meant, you know, so go to the 4 by 4 and explain all your options. Why well, do I don't want to go to the 4 by 4 shop? I want to go right here. I want to know this. Fucking chat. One of you guys is smart enough to fucking get me through it. G Lane. It's a Colt, Tori. My last name. I didn't pick my last name. The, he doesn't do any public speaking. Forget there is in the film lane. Do a heavy muffin. I might just stay here for the night. I'm hungry though. You hungry, girl? I'm gonna order something, I think. You know how you glean something after receiving information? It sounds just like that, but rhymes with lane. Clean. You know how you clean, glean, glean, clean, glean. Glean lane, G lane, G lane. You got it, the snake holiday. Your name is Per, is this a real answer? Yeah, no, this, it plugs into a, it's a USB. Illinoisans. All right, I'm over. I'm over fucking that that chick's name. I 
I'm just gonna call it whatever. We're about to, we're about to we're about to ban that word. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm done. I've had enough. All right. <laughs> Words with friends is over. It was fun while it lasted. Is it Stevie? I might sleep here. Uh. Oh my gosh. Phonics is over. Yeah. Hooked on. Get two 24 Ultras on Friday. Getting two 24 Ultras. Nice. You're going to love them. Just the, the filming. Like the, the Ultras, the 22, 23, 24. It was an hour long. It's worth the money. It's worth every penny of it. May 9th and 10th, Cordon has a 10 by 360. Event at his Arizona office. Ooh. See, that's the information I want to know. I'm gonna, I'll am order it myself. You don't have to buy me it. I got money. Why is this not charging? Come on. There we are. Yeah, it was really good. I, I learned some things about Laura that I didn't know about. She's got so much information. Stee wee wee wee. He played the piano with the Zenu as Zenu <laughs> with his shirt off. <laughs> he's like, oh, I, I walked in. He's like, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be weird. <laughs> he instantly knew he wanted to be Zenu <laughs> when I walked in barefoot with my cape on, with my, uh, my hat on, my squirrely hat. I started to watch it, but Discord DOA was on. <laughs> yeah, Laura. Yeah, there's there's some stories. He and Laura playing the Xenu costume. <laughs> yeah, it's just cool. It's like a can you like a fresh audience interested? Now I'm like the third person like associated with it. It creates like a. Yeah, it's good. Let's see. Uh, I'll show Tori. Let me get my phone turned on here. It's a good question. Who does Scientology bank with? 
chances of CB coming out as his union to protest. I, I think uh, he if he interviews another one or two people, he might want to, like, get a feel for it, like, go and check it out. I gave him some stickers, some SBTV stickers. So thank you, Sandra, for making the stickers. Um, I gave him a pin. I gave him... Uh, I gave him a... Sh I gave him two shirts. I gave him my... My... Uh, Uh, my volcano on the fucking uh, kindly go fuck yourself shirt. Uh, Section 107. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Okay, guys, this video is from Doyle6315. And I will put a link in the description. This is L. Ron Hubbard's son, most revealing expose. I Why does it sound so messed up? I think it's open in like two. So there you go from L. Ron Hubbard's son. He lied about everything. <laughs> Fraud, deception, and organized crime. LAPD, did you hear that? FBI, did you hear that? IRS, did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, use of, 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 use
everything but a mentor. Now, he's a groomer who groomed Usher and ultimately just a Bieber. Now, well known for his wild parties, the minors are not left out either. But Usher had, did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now, I'll let Usher explain that to y'all. I'll let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. Let me, re let, let me reframe you on something. Remember Usher? We was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio right there. His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in her mouth. Now I'm telling that because you take enough for somebody that you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right when you was at Diddy Camp. Y'all put it together. And what you mean by Diddy Cal? Remember? He was on um, one of the talk shows. <laughs> the white guy with the curly hair. Uh, What's his name? Um, that alien emoji made me laugh. I don't know why. Curly hair. And he said, yo, would you send your son to Diddy Cal? And I just said, no, no. Ask him why he won't send him to Diddy Cal. But yet still, you praise him. Damn, man, and you said that. I know you can't go into detail, but you said that. So where's Snoop Dogg falling in and all this? a crime the NDA is null and void she can talk now legally I have not been great at promoting myself like I out telling people I'm gonna judge okay we do toy okay it's like it got two heads you know what a head is right it's a long snake it's a snake toy with two heads girl daddy on one end TJ's on the other end and you already know what's going on in the rest. Okay, yes, girl. Uh, honey, I don't know what to believe now. All these allegations and shit. And can you imagine, can you see big ass T.D. Jakes with his big wide back laying on his back cock legs open? I can't imagine it. It, it. it makes me throw up. But it's a lot of niggas. Hey, I don't judge. But shit, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about that shit. Okay, honey, honey, it is possible. It is possible. It is very possible. Okay. And then they had clips out there. Nobody was swallowing, swallowing. What in the world is going on? They are doing it, this shit right in plain sight, right before your eyes. Diddy, he can't help himself. He keep on exposing his shoe. Right in your damn, they, these demons, they want to be let out so bad. They tired of hiding. They don't want to hide no more. They want to come out with it. They want to expose with it. They want to flaunt with it. Okay, girl, I tell you, ooh, we are really living in the end of the world. These are the end times, ain't they? Uh, I hate that y'all deal with this bullshit. What bullshit? Now, why can't we see these video footage, right? Ain't nothing hot. Can you press one if you feel like they should release these videos? Their garage is broken into. We don't know who he's talking about. I think he's talking about men. And let's not forget, ain't nothing wrong with it. But they said, Cat Williams said, Jamie Foxx, he's been loving me and he's gay. And when you think about it, Jamie Foxx, Diddy, they don't want no woman. They ain't never made no woman a wife, okay? They don't want to settle down and love on a woman because they don't love these folks. 
Okay. I got, I got it on 1.5. Okay, and even if he was doing it with Kevin D, everybody, right. Andre Harrell, and I can't think of the other guy. It's, it's a lot of stuff going on. What about the girl that was pregnant for Jesse, hmm. and then she getting up there after she was going to me, and he would take care of me financially for the time that I spent with him, and Inc. I was a part of now in 2024. I'm, I'm like addicted to all this information on Diddy. Sorry. Uh... I just can't like get enough of it. I'm I'm like slightly addicted on like uploading the information and the characters. It's like a good side project. another exposing Diddy video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so and make sure you click that thumbs up button and turn on your notification bell buttons as well. And if you have not joined my there Patreon, you. please do so. Everything over there on my Patreon is raw and uncut honey and unfiltered. So make sure you join for reviews and reaction videos. But back to Diddy. Korean at that time, you know, it was so risque and unfathomable for somebody to come out and name names about the people that they slept with the schmugs with and all of these different you know illicit acts and a lot of not even a lot i believe pretty much all of the guys at that point denied what she was saying and calling her a liar and if they did admit it you know they called her the w word and all of that type of stuff but um she had some very interesting stories about diddy in her book which he denied vehemently at the time but something told me to go back and take a listen. And literally everything that she claimed back then is the same things that are being claimed about him now in 2024. And she also 2005. Uh, exposed Bernadette for his pimpish ways back then and some of the sick and twisted stuff that he was into. Let's take a listen. Let's hear this it. is about the time I re-sparked my affair with Irv Gotti, head of the label which housed my former lover Ja Rule, as well as singer Ashanti. Gotti would call me every time he was in town, Ooh. even when he wasn't. When he called, I was my phone. All right. But something told me to go back and take a listen. And literally everything that she claimed back then is the same things that are being claimed about him now in 2024. And she also uh, she exposed did ja Rule? Irv Gotti for his pimpish ways back then and some of the sick and twisted stuff that By he was Davis into. Whitney? Let's take a listen. This is about the time I re-sparked my affair with Irv Gotti, head of the label which housed my former lover Ja Rule, as well as singer Ashanti. Gotti would call me every time he was in town, and even when he wasn't. When he called, I went to him. I did whatever he asked of me, and he would take care of me financially for the time that I spent with him and Inc. I was a part of something when I was with them, but I was also a drug addict and an alcoholic. From sunup to sundown, we were surrounded by ecstasy and cognac. It was literally there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I continued to be depressed after wrapping the movie and began to indulge even more in the dangerous habits that accompanied hanging out with this crowd. There was more sex, more intoxicants, and more unsavory behavior. I was paid to be the bad girl. But as long as I was wanted, I would have done whatever it took to stay in the mix. The things that went on while Gotti and I were together are almost unimaginable to me now. But in the haze of drug and liquor, it all seemed all right. I was being used over and over again. There was man after man, all friends and acquaintances of Gotti's. I was doing what I was told by one of the most prominent men in my life and now was well rewarded for my misbehavior. It's no secret that Gotti is not the most sensitive person around. In fact, he can be downright brutal. It's also no secret that Gotti was married with three children and kept lovers all around the globe. But I was his favorite. No matter where he was in the world, 
he would always find his way back to me. His wife knew of me and our relationship. I wasn't in love with Gotti by any means, but he was the gatekeeper to the lifestyle to which I'd become accustomed and addicted. And because of that, Gotti was in charge. I quickly became Gotti's showpiece. He would turn other people in the industry onto me. I was his party favor and became the new form of payola with label and radio heads. Whenever there was someone who Gotti wanted to impress, he would send me to them and I would take care of them. One of those people was Sean P. Diddy Combs. It was sometime after Valentine's Day 2001, just after Diddy and Jennifer Lopez had announced their split. Gotti and I had been spending the day drinking and popping ecstasy pills as usual. The mixture of alcohol and X often made us extremely sexual, and we would have sex all day and night. As a lover, Gotti was insatiable. The drug drove him to unbelievable heights, and soon he began experimenting with Viagra. X became more like a boxing match than anything else. We would compete against each other, and on most every occasion, I would win. There were a few times when he actually got up and ran, and even locked himself in the bathroom in order to get away from me. Still, at other times, he got the upper hand, and I would lie in bed, curled in a ball, feeling completely spent, which in my inebriated state, turned me on even more. Gotti and I were a perfect- This is a carbon copy of the same Hollywood shit, just the music industry. Uh, I-, I I can't get enough of this. It's like fascinating. Like it's fascinating how quick information travels through the internet and how many, how my news, my, my feed on YouTube is like, there's just so many different players. There's so many characters. There's so many characters. This is um, Color Me Pink, but P-Y-N-K. So there is a lot of content. I'd like to I'd like to catch some of the court stuff of this. I think this would be like, this is going to be a media frenzy. You would think it'd be a media frenzy. Match as lovers. On one particular night, we were riding around Beverly Hills in a limousine with Ja and other members of the Inc. And we ended up at Moomba, a club on the west side. Inc. Inc. Is that murder, Inc.? We ventured through the club, entourage in tow, and made our way to the outdoor patio and out to the back parking lot. I stood there beside Gotti as Diddy walked up to him. They greeted each other with a slap of the right hand. Diddy held a drink in his left. He seemed to be as intoxicated as we were. I stood there looking at him while they spoke, and all of a sudden he turned and looked right at me. His conversation with Gotti was abruptly cut short as he took a few steps closer to me grabbed my hand, and said, I want you. Can I have you? Then Diddy turned to Gotti and said, My bad, dog. Is this you? Gotti quickly said, Nah, nah, it's cool. This is he said. She's cool people. Can she come with me? Diddy asked. I wanted to leave with Diddy right then. The ecstasy had me in a mood where whatever I felt normally was heightened 100%. Even the wind on my face made me orgasmic. Right there in front of me, Gotti and Diddy made arrangements for me to meet Diddy at his house in an hour. I'll send her to you in a little bit, Gotti said. Give me the address. I didn't understand why Gotti didn't let me go with Diddy right then, but we took the address and got back in the limo. We went back to Le Mertage, and after we took more ecstasy, Gotti was tearing away at my clothes. Gotti had a strange bedside manner. He would get rough at times, which I could handle when we were high. He also liked to compare himself to other men. He would want to know how they were built and how they had sex. He wanted to know if I liked Diddy and if I was going to sleep with him when I got over there. He gon' f*** good, huh? Gotti asked. 
I just wanted him to hurry and shut up so I would make my way to Canyon Drive to meet up with Diddy. Gotti set me on my way and gave me a key to his room so I wouldn't wake him when I returned. It was four in the morning when I pulled up to Diddy's home in my SUV. There were security guards in the driveway, all of them dressed in dark suits with their hands clasped in front of them. They stood at attention, waiting for me to approach the gate. They had been expecting me, and they let me in the gate and into the house through the garage. I stood in the hallway, waiting for Diddy. My body was hot as the d- and alcohol continued to feed off of each other. After just a few minutes, Diddy greeted me and showed me to the nearest bedroom, where Farnsworth Bentley had been sleeping. Diddy woke him and gestured to him to leave the room. My guess was that there was someone else upstairs in Diddy's room and that this was to be my first and final destination within the home. So who is Gotti to you? He asked. And is he cool with this? Gotti's my boy, I said. When I see something I want, he lets me have it. So with that slight formality out of the way, Diddy and I spent the next 15 minutes or so engaging in the usual. After the experience, he said, You are one of the best. I said the same to him when, in actuality, he was average. Our sexual encounter was pretty straightforward. Nothing out of the ordinary. Before I left, he asked me to meet him back at the house the next morning around 11.30 for brunch. I emphatically accepted and traveled back to Lamartage and to Gotti, who was asleep. I crawled into bed and fell asleep beside him. The next morning, Gotti wanted details. I really had nothing to say about my experience with Diddy. He was polite and gentle, and I actually preferred him as a person over Gotti, who was cocky and nasty at times. Gotti seemed a bit frustrated with my unwillingness to give details and even more irritated by the fact that I had been invited back for brunch. He always wanted to present me as his resident, but hated it when anyone actually wanted to keep me around, which happened quite often. He almost relished the idea of people using me and then throwing me away, like yesterday's newspaper. But I was beaming from ear to ear as I got dressed and headed back to Diddy's house. Gotti left in a hurry with the look of disgust on his face. And that made me even happier. Back at Diddy's, I was received with open arms by him and his entire staff. I met him upstairs in his dressing quarters where his tailor was fitting him for the upcoming MTV Music Awards. I was awestruck by the vast array of suits, ties, shirts, and shoes. They were so obviously rich in fabric and texture, and he was handsome in everything that he tried on. Puff Daddy? You got Puff Daddy in there? No. No, no Puff Daddy? Dang, (laughs) almost. I, I saw you. I saw you creeping. You I was like, not not a second time today, asshole. Not a second time. Today, yeah, asshole. not a second time. You got me earlier. I, uh, that'll be too easy. I'm just getting started. You're just getting started. I'm just getting started with the pranks. It, 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 You're like the 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 parking ticket it, push you over the edge. Away. I, I come back slow and steady for the win. That's good. That's good. It's content. It's, it's content. It's, it's, all, content. it's all in the name of content, yeah. folks, and fine. Content um, and clout chasing. Jeff is fine. Allegedly. And everybody else cleared out a lot of bell, so uh, all squirrels are accounted for. Uh, cheeseburger guy still there. Fuck that guy. Uh, not having it with him. That was that was a for sure cheeseburger guy. That was for sure him. 100%. 100%. They, I even confirmed his car was in the lot. I didn't see him go in. I did um, early on, and I was like, that's cheeseburger guy. And they're like, no, no, no. Um, but it was, in fact. And uh, I mean, scary dude chased uh, Solomon, chased Cutsy, chased We in LA. Um, car chase, pretty crazy, all on video. LAPD wouldn't uh, even take a report from them when they went to, they went to the station. And they didn't I mean, take a report that day she went to the station? No, they didn't. Not from her, Solomon and her. They didn't. They didn't get it through. So, they did one at the scene, but not for like a fall. I mean, I don't even know how you get a TRO on him for that because it's against multiple people. So it's kind of complicated TRO to get. You know. What do you mean it's against multiple to get a, people? Because like usually like a, a temporary restraining order, right? You have like a clear one cut incident. But yeah. in this, like, would you be getting a restraining order for him against multiple people? Or well, that what? they would get it individually. Individually, yeah. yeah. They would have to get individual reader restraining yeah. orders against them. Yeah, how it's supposed to work is each person has to present what facts they have and not do it as, like, a group. Yeah, and, like, she went down to Solomon. and she didn't, like, wait for, like, Streets or me or anything, even in the offer. But uh, maybe we'll still have to go back. But, like...
uh, self as self and Cal were getting into it him with him the other night there, like late and like it's just gonna rile him up. He didn't. He wasn't gonna confess or anything. He could be like, no, I did it. I'm a scumbag. You know, they never do that. Um, you want to catch a scumbag, you catch him in the act. It's like really the only way. But definitely not the right guy to mess out. And I, I hear he has a PPA against you. So. Yeah, he filled one out. He filled one out. So. Yeah. Uh, obviously looking for some vengeance. What up, Danny? I got Danny in the chat. Hey, Danny. And, um, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we're not trying to, like, pit anybody in the situation in which they're going to have a crazy guy chasing them in a car um, if we can avoid it. So, uh, operational safety, uh, just keep, keep, keep in all the scores. Operation for, safety. Operation uh, security. Yeah, we, I was just listening to stuff about Diddy. Yeah. So they're saying that's what I was saying. They're like, he's listening to my titty, so yeah. I'm like, I'm fascinated with what's going on with all that shit. Sex trafficking ring allegations, feds. Well, it's fascinating to me because it's not too far from what we're doing mm -hmm. in terms of Danny Masterson messaging the lawyers. I don't know, a, a lawyer could represent other uh high, high ticket clients, but. Yeah. A lot of those good lawyers, they have a group of people that they're with. <coughs> and I, I think it's two lawyers of Danny Masterson's is... Um, is representing Diddy? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? What are their names? Diddy probably uh, knows how to pick them. Sean Holly. I got right it out, man. Sean Holly. Sean Holly sounds right. Sean Holly. Sean Holly too. I'm looking. Oh, E Y. It is for that reason that it was an earlier night at La Bell than Chapman as usual. Holly. Uh, content factory uh, oh, to show a, that it is. It's a girl. And you feel so bad for Justin Bieber and the girls too? I mean, I I want to be a believer, but I'm not so sure about that sometimes. On air legal analyst for KABC Wait, Eyewitness I News in Los Angeles. A sports car over there? Is he usually reports like according to his victims that's the one he they were looking for? Diddy and Masterson did hang out. They did, huh? Here, right, let's see. I'm sure Jeff is fine. P. Diddy and Masterson. Whoa! That car sped off. I fucking that's hate that. I'm all against victimless crimes uh -huh. and an anarchist mm -hmm. but when it comes to fucking mufflers cars that are fucking loud put them in jail put them in jail put them in jail <laughs> uh, mu 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 i can't mufflers stand that person. like uh, purposely making your car louder yeah just to be obnoxious i guess that's a big van life thing Oh man, it's 1154. That car was doing raceology is right. I, I, I've created raceology. I see Kutcher, yeah, you're up. I'm telling you the part that really chaps my ass body. about this. Bro, poor choice of words when Diddy's around. Never but look, here's the thing. Kelly, I, I almost liked you. Like, I almost liked you, homie. Like, you was up there in front of Congress speaking against human trafficking. You almost had me. But why is it that everyone that you're... Well, uh, good seeing you, buddy. I'm gonna... You're walking around? I, I think I'm gonna just speed home. It's getting late. Cool. Unless you wanna, unless you wanna take a walk. I'll take a walk with you. I'll take a walk. All right. I'm good on the red. Let me move out of the red. All right. You want a muffin? <laughs> <laughs> he said maybe. <laughs> Uh. 
I got a couple tickets yesterday. I got two tickets yesterday. Yes, I saw that her garage was broken into. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I'm sorry your garage got broken into. It's the fourth or fifth message I saw. Muffin man. Muffin. All the muffins. Keep you baked. Blueberry. Give me a second. Banana nut. Cinnamon. I mean, I assume Jeff is probably fine. Asia was definitely out of there. I don't quite expect uh, to go out after a ride. Right. The way he might go out for some other boats. Yeah, he just wants you to go home. Girls, freaking strains for me. Blueberry muffins are pretty good strain. Blueberry muffins. Blueberry muffins. That's. Do you know some blueberry muffins? I got a cotton girl. All right. Scientology. It is a mimic church. Jeff. Oxy. He was walking his dog. He was fine. Because the cheese, cheeseburger guy had already left. He's got that dog. Yeah. That dog would eat somebody. That dog would eat somebody. It's like a, it's a shepherd dog, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know the name of that type of dog? Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, I think it's a Vizsla. Vizsla? Yeah, Vizsla. 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 V-I-S-L-A. I could be wrong though. Vizsla. I mean... Guys, I, I'd already it's seen a unique the dog. Uh, cheeseburger had left. I didn't see him circle back. So I think he's good. Just my security estimation. It's a Borzai? Oh, I, I was wrong. It's a Borzai. P O R Z O I Borzo. We call them Velcro dogs. Heart pounding. Heart pounding. It was a cheeseburger guy. Um, I mean, I go back to Lock Bell.
I mean, he just lived in that area. Yeah, close to there. It sounded a bit of alarm. Do you know what Kelly's you see? People love you. You're loved. Sorry I get distracted. Yeah. I don't know what to make of that chat. I mean, can I have him in back to Los Angeles? Like, some groups I could, but... I thought the guy was a Scientology agent. Uh, I go check out Jeff, guys. What's going on with Jeff? I don't know. They're saying that he, like, spooked out off of his live next to uh, Paul Cabell. Because I, I did circle around to make sure that I didn't see Cheeseburger anymore. He had left. I don't know, Chad. People are causing this certain time. Should I go? It's up to you. Division I don't. Chat. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know who your chat is. I don't know either. Well. Talking about getting set up. Bringing. The cloud chasing. Okay. Very good. that they could set him up since he was alive. What's this one brick doing here? This brick is just out of place. I mean, uh, that was a fiat. Since this is a bigger back over there. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's very hard. It's hard for us to know sometimes. But I didn't see the cheeseburger guy. I was clearly gone. Um, and the Jeff was just walking his dog. Why is the window open? Is out PR? There's one over there too. Odd. 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 He's got the dog. Amy says he did not have I don't know. I think they're trying to misinfo me. It sounds like a lot of yeah. uh, terror and a fear. Lot, a lot of what if there. Yeah. And uh, I did circle around a uh, celebrity after clearing the parking lot. Cheeseburger was gone already. And Jeff was just walking his dog. Fine guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the stream here. Yeah, Not yet. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I hear the helicopter. I'm like fucking like my heart's pounding. I feel like I'm in like war right now, man. Choppers coming, like <laughs> last thing I want to do is run, but man. Jesus. <laughs> The neighbor I met the other day laid a few of the bricks, too. Oh, calm down. You know what calm, saying calm down to me is? That's a timeout. You're going on timeout for... Hmm, that's a 30-minute one. <laughs> Worst thing to say, defender to defender advance is calm down. <laughs> You're gonna take your punishment. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think I don't think he'll do that. I think he's fine. It's interesting that this door is green. It really stands out. From all the other doors. It's a bold color. King Che Becky. I wonder if that sewer line takes you into the uh, the tunnel system. I know, like you expected me to. <laughs> like no one hanging outside ever. Feng Shui? Some Feng Shui? Yeah, it's like a teal. We're trafficking and trafficking. Boom! Boom! See, now I need to drive one of those vans 60 miles an hour down Elrod. Now we're talking. I mean, I think Jeff is fine. Plus, I saw Jeff, he was walking around Celebrity Center. Like he usually does. Scientologist me. Oh my god. I mean, I think so. Scientologist is like one of your favorite, right? They love money. They love money. I think he decided to uh, kill the live comments. Oh, it's What time is it? It is 12 and 12. 9. Oh, nice. So, we're in an early Thursday morning here in California. Scientology Blue Building. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he's a cagey guy. I think if he was, uh... Hold on. Dianetics, Modern Science of Mental Health has been a bestseller for over 60 years. Modern science? Not that modern anymore. Oh, it's the most popular book on the mind ever written. It contains the discovery of the reactive mind. The source of 
your fears, insecurities, pains, and nightmares. Find out what is controlling your life and how you can get rid of the reactive mind and achieve your goals. Film shows every hour. Walk-ins welcome. Dianetics. What do you think? They it's ever, a cult. It's a cult. Yeah, that's fair. It's a cult. I should have sucked off. That's a fair. Scientologist Blue Building, Hollywood, California. Late night, squirreling. Bill, the Defender Man. And we're on video camera here, so everyone knows, like, there's probably me, but we're fine to on camera here. They know. This is how they see. They use this camera system. There's a car coming through. They're like, it's a call. Exactly. They have the weirdest security cameras, I swear. There's nothing like the double camera, seriously. Because seeing one side of the sidewalk wasn't enough, you know? This is very solid. Are you playing psychology? No. Oh, don't do it. I don't wonder why that guy's going into the parking lot, seriously. It's a little late to become a Scientologist. He's pulling right up the front, too. So, I guess Scientologists uh, have Mustangs. Boom. 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 Boom goes to Scientology. Boom goes to Scientology. Boom. 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 Raceology. Raceology. Aaron Hubbard. 60 mph challenge, less than nine seconds. Beat my time, if you can. Right here, right now. Fun times, the DOA. Sound like ideas, Aubrey. <laughs> Spitting hot fire. And DOA chat goes wild, it goes wild. I think this might be the wildest chat there is here. <laughs> Host is 21 hour days, HV to make their 47 a week. I mean, that's a, that's a pittance. That's just not very much money from the Scientologist, to be honest. Um, and we're here still, it's late. For Scientology. And we're in the copyright strike. Well, try potting to a pole. <laughs> like a six foot tripod with the uh, sound on mic and battery pack? Uh, portable speaker. Portable, portable speakers. JBL Clip J 5. JBL Clip 5. So, do it as a spear. And uh, if you're curious, you can come in today to Scientology on 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's after 10, so I'm not sure what the Mustang was doing there. There's another car leading Scientology. It smells like dog. Yeah, like dog seems here. It smells like something. Something. Something's in there. Poop. Pretty gross. It smells of Hollywood. Yeah. I'm sure they're watching us right now um, on these exact cameras and going, DOA is out and about causing the mayhem, creating trouble. Church of Scientology, Blue Building, Hollywood. Uh, protesting, squirreling, no destruction, everything peaceful, calm, uh, united, friendly, family of squirrels. Persisting on and taking out this cult. Um, now you can't assume everybody in the lot is a cult. So, all discretion, but they know we're here. Um, they always know we're here. Because the cameras are everywhere. And they're probably watching them right now. So some people here. I was like a doctor maybe. Doctor lady. And 
Scientology's number one uh, legislative goal, they want bigger electronic billboards for uh, churches to use, just like this, so that they can proselytize at you with a massive electronic wall. Um, for no more cameras here, you can see underneath. I didn't even really notice these ones, but there are cameras underneath this thing here. Um, two of them, in fact. So one is not enough. You need two cameras always. Like Church of Scientology rule, double camera system. And they cannot handle the heat that's being put on them, which is why they react with the swatting, with the violence, stalking. And these are scary, dangerous people over here. Um, they stalked and harassed a prosecutor, two LAPD detectives, over the Danny Masterson case, which is why we're at La Bell every night. And where's the accountability? Where, where is the FBI? I would really like to know that question of why the FBI does not have an investigation into whether or not they've engaged in uh, organized basically racketeering, uh, planning systematically to intimidate people to obstruct justice. So more heat is needed, more journalism, more sources, always more sources, whistleblowers, um, leaks, we love leaks keep leaking me amazing stuff, folks. Um, and then we all love uh, everybody's support, all, all the subscribers, all the viewers. And that's how we create pressure um, to put onto this massive organization that is so shameless, so effectively. Uh, and we're gonna keep gathering evidence. We have nine uh, fake 911 calls um, live on the Substack. And we got nine? Nine, we're up to nine. Yeah, nine. I got, I got two info center, one blue, one celebrity center. Uh, nine one one calls, not fire department. Fire, fire, fire nine one one fire. Uh, they're all fire. Fire, all fire. I can't get any LAPD. So calls. the fire department knows how to follow the laws, but not the LAPD. Correct, or at least appear to be following the law, because Apparently. what's on the recordings is proof of uh, making a false emergency call, which is a misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in county jail. Um, felony if you put a, a first responder at risk doing it so don't well, they almost got electrocuted that one time i don't yeah. know if you caught that with the ladders yeah yeah he almost fell off i saw that at the blue here no at la poubelle, la poubelle. they came with the fight the ladders and they tried yeah. to uh uh they uh they were putting the ladder up to the roof and i was like uh you guys might want to pay attention to the electric lines mm -hmm. And they realized that they were about to get electrocuted. Yeah, so that, that, their... would be a, that would be a felony if, if you did get electrocuted. Okay, for sure. Probably. Well, electrocuted, yeah, you, if you get electrocuted, you're, you're dead. Yeah, that, that's a felony. And what, what's fascinating is that they redact the calls, even though everything else on them is obviously false. Um, the Lucky Bell ones are a lot shorter than the initial ones we got. Um, I think because the first four that we have are from um, Scientology security guards, perhaps. And then the uh, latter five are from people inside La Bell, calling in on La Bell, calling in on the Oaks Market next to Wait it. Wait a minute, you got some of the uh, FOIA uh, things are uh, the Scientologist security guards calling in? That's what we think. We, we, because um, they called on Solomon um, as soon as he approached Celebrity Center maybe two weeks ago. Okay. And. The only thing that makes sense is that they watch the cameras there consistently, and then the fire department was immediately there on Solomon. So it seems a little bit odd that when Solomon's viewers is doing it, um, it makes sense that the security guards there watch the system and they go, oh, there's a protest or there's a fire in the basement. And then the commonality between the celebrity center call and the... I don't, um, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that someone saying that a fire in the basement means that they're Scientologists. But it's um, common across two different voices. So we have two people calling in the same fake call um, at different locations okay. that are church okay. locations. So it's the specific content of the Correct. call it's, it's, that it's makes it uh, uh, a pair, a pair coordinated. allegedly uh, yeah, a pair coordinated because of the same language. Correct. And okay. it appears that some directive was perhaps given. And then the fact that these are just being released and that nobody will talk to me about them is really interesting. Not fire department, not the city attorney's office, not the mayor's office, not the council president's office, and not Hugo Soto Martinez. None of them responded to my emails. So we need to boost those um, to get those into the stream a little bit more so people can see how ridiculous those swatting calls are. 
I'll do a stream with the yeah. swatting calls. We gotta pay, I keep meaning to bring out my speaker just to play some of them. But they're, they're interesting. What's up, Nerd Report? And I mean, it's raw evidence from uh, public records uh, requests. Like, I haven't done anything to them. Uh, they've redacted the calls heavily. They obviously I think, realized that it is dicey. Yeah, I'll be putting in another request very soon. Oh, hold on, 86 GOP was in the chat. He says, enjoy your night, troops. Mm -hmm. I will be enjoying my battle with gout and rheumatoid arthritis. Uh -huh. That's so fun. We are a mighty pair of journalists here. And, yeah, I mean, this is kind of the preliminary analysis that we have on them. Um, it is suggestive. I do think that it is related to the security apparatus of the church. Because the protesters approach, and then they bring down the swatting, but then the church is creating the cover to get away with it. Anybody else would be getting prosecuted for this, right? Here they just go, here's the public record, and, you know, we're not going to respond to your, your, your questions. And who's going to hold them accountable? Nobody, right? They can pretty much get away with it. Here's the spot. Does it still say help, help in any type of way there? Where, where was it? It was on the second window here. I don't think so. I think it's gone. I mean, yeah, it's gone. So the, there's no more tape there. It's gone, folks. It was on that window right there. Oh, you got a little pipe vent, air vent right there. Yeah. It's a little weird. Parky and I couldn't really tell for sure that it said help, but we were kind of late to it, I guess. Yeah, I believe him. It's definitely interesting. I don't know if it's conclusive, like you're having an audio recording that's yeah. deliberately false pretenses. Even if we can't identify anybody proof positive yet, but it does appear to be coordinated <laughs> and that they have a way to get out of uh, getting caught or punished for doing it. It's a drinking game. Take a shot every time you hear journalists. <laughs> Take a puff. Eat a, eat, a, eat a muffin every time you hear uh, the word journalist. <laughs> well, have a piece of that muffin. That muffin, man. So delicious, so delicious. I was pretty ripped. I was pretty ripped. But I, I recovered. Um, nothing dangerous there. I think people, are, you know, are not used to California and high, people with high tolerances. <laughs> I had fun. You're saying you're a you. pothead fucker? I'm saying, yeah, maybe a little bit. I smoke, I smoke the chronic like the Snoop Dogg. The Snoop Dogg. Now, is Snoop Dogg it's connected into this P. Diddy shit? No, I don't think so. I could be wrong, though. What's Does this? anybody know if Snoop is in the P. Diddy thing? Oh, we can't do that, uh, question X. I, that's breaking the rules. Uh oh, what's X doing? I banned her yesterday. Yeah, you know, you know the word they want me to say. Mod? Not saying it. It's good. I'm not saying it. That's not, that's not how you do uh, these wars. So. No, no, no. Nope, 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 nope. It's streamer wars, People man. This is mod wars. People think they can investigative journalists. Um, <laughs> maybe shot. a little bit, but not Take forever. a shot. Birds of Paradise. Beautiful. So, nothing like a DOA with Birds of Paradise. Smelling uh, those flowers. I haven't heard anything about soup yet, so we still have soup. Murder was the case they gave him. I am not telling them that question, X. Oh my God. No. Will not. Infamous spot. Contesting. Well, there's a window open there. Like Scientology's a call. The Aftermath Foundation can help you leave. Crack, there's a bird's of paradise. And... Let's see, everybody has a permit in order. Your papers, please. This one's good. Wow. 
flower. I like flowers. The PDD thing. And I haven't even gotten full story on that one yet. I just hear about it, but I haven't fully sorted up. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been all up in it. All up in it. Dewey's all up in the PDD. It's my entertainment right now. It's just entertainment. Well, and it's connected to Masterson. Exactly. So it's important. It's important to keep up on it. Kutcher. Time for us to go to downtown. You're going downtown. I'm going downtown. All right. I'm going I think I'm taking off. I don't. I'm not going to sleep here. Yeah. All right. Yo, good night, bro. Good night. Peace be unto uh, the chat, and, and just don't say those words, folks. You know, you know how to behave. Did you get a? Uh, did you get a bracelet? I did. Did I can't remember. Boom! I'm rocking my bracelet. So DOA's got some amazing bracelets here. I should show um, it. Amanda in the closet. And. I'm, you know, I, uh, oh, here it is. Oh, it's a bling. You said you had diamonds. That's right. So, I'm in the clear. Oh, that's a clear one. Yeah, I'm in the clear, folks. Oh, nice. I've, I've, I've leveled up into the clear. Nice. Jerry does have awesome hats. You say that. <laughs> All right, good night. You too, sir. All right, chat. We're all rock the mic. guys check out ice cube gotcha